how's it going? Today I'm going to walk you through a quick tutorial on how I make my vertical image series and the square picture in picture type situation that I've been doing for a little bit now. I started this series about a year and a half ago and I just did my 60th post today. It'll be my last one for a while so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how I create these images using layer masks, certain blending modes, and gradients. So let's get into it. I hope you learned a little something. Little disclaimer before I start the video. I'm sure that there are many different ways to do all the stuff that I'm about to show you. And I know there are actually a bunch of cool apps out right now that also help you organize your Instagram page in a giant vertical or fully horizontal linking situation. And uh, those are rad as well. I'm just uh, gonna show you the way that I do this thing. So as you can see here on the right side, I have this vertical image series where everything kind of weaves and flows together. It's a little bit harder on this web app to tell what's going on, but these photos do connect in the background and then the main photo in the center is something new and different each time. In Photoshop here, you can see some of my documents. Those are a bit cooler to look at than the actual Instagram versions. and. Each document is about 30,000 pixels in height and 2,000 in width. After 30,000, Photoshop does some weird save to the PSD that requires it to be an extra large format. So I usually start a new one once I get to that point. We are going to be creating this today, this little segment of series. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna go file, new document. I'm gonna make the width 2000 and I'm gonna make the height uh, just for fun 8000, even though it doesn't need to be that tall. Uh, resolution 72, we're just putting this on the web, no print, transparent background. Oh, so yeah, by the way, I'm gonna be going through this a little bit quickly. So yeah, I'll just uh, try and explain things as best as possible. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a square using the marquee tool. You're going to hold down shift, drag. I'm going to make that square red. Press G to get to your paint bucket. I'm on the very to a paint bucket. Fill that thing. Put it all in the way on the bottom. Command A using these align tools up top. I'm going to put it down there. I'm going to duplicate that square and make it blue. G, fill it, V, drag it up, make sure it snaps up there, duplicate it once more, press, let's do it, green, and would you look at that, we have three squares all aligned, these are basically going to be Instagram posts, square Instagram posts. I'm going to make a group, I'm going to call it squares, I'm going to make another group, I'm going to call it background. I'm going to make another group and I'm going to call it main image. I'm going to put all the squares in squares. Collapse that, put the background folder below it, and we have three folders. Perfect. On, off, on, off. For our first background, I'm going to focus on this upside down Tokyo situation. It is right here. Where are you? You're right here. Okay. Let's put that in the background folder. And for now, we can put the squares on 20, 30, 40%. Again, the squares are just for alignment and making sure everything is properly spaced out. Let's make this bigger. And, as you saw in my original thing, my original uh, piece, I had this upside down. I think that was kind of cool. So let's do that again. Flip it vertical. Whee! Look at that. Cool. Yeah. And then, you know, a funny thing about this, I'm not always doing it this way. I'm not always planning out ahead this far. But what I am trying to do is I'm usually always overlapping the background image into the next post because I know I want to blend them. So let's go ahead and grab our next background image, which would be 
background to this, also another shot from Tokyo, my favorite place to take photos in the world. Bang, there's that. That is going to go on top of that. Let's bring it up a little bit. And... We're going to go like right there with it. That looks out good. We're going to start using these squares. So you can see this blue square here. That's our second post. I'm going to command click on it to select it. And I'm going to drag. I'm going to have this background image go all the way to the bottom of that. Just so it's lined up. These images, let's look at them. That's not blending very well. That doesn't look good. So that won't look like a cool blended background image at all, really. What we want to do is have these blend nicely. Many ways we can do this, but I'm going to show you how I do it. So, first thing I like to mess with is blending modes. Lighten. Yeah, that's already kind of cool. Look, keeps the track going, but it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, you can also, you know, mess with the opacity. All sorts of things. I like that, though. I like what Lighten is doing there. And that's my go-to for a lot of things. We don't want these hard edges right here. That doesn't work. That's not going to be a nice blend. You know, we can see in our posts, it's just going to be like, this will, this second post up here is going to have this hard edge in there. That just won't make any sense at all. But we do want it continuing into there because that's what's going to give it a, the nice effect of being just this, you know, forever going situation. These images are just always continuing. What I like to do is mess with layer masks and adding gradients. So I'm going to click here, layer mask. I'm going to press G, make sure my gradient tool is on, and turn off these squares. I'm just going to play around. I'm going to drag to there. And look, that already helped a ton. It, the road is now standing out much more. It looks like a situation where it just kind of blends in. Then. You know, it's it's cool. It, it almost feels like these feet are like standing on a weird upside down crosswalk or something. So we can also add one up here. No, it's really starting to look good. Go into our brush tool and start to kind of, you know, blend these where they might be stopping and just make this cool little world. Alright, interesting. I ain't mad at it. This is some weird blended world. Who knows what's going on. But, kinda cool. I think our backgrounds are feeling alright for this quick tutorial. Now, so a nice thing about this, we could even, what we can do is go make this a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, that's going to blend much nicer. Now, we can also play around with this gradient a little bit more. Yeah, cool. Look at that. That is a weird world for sure. Loss in translation. Alright. So, I ain't too mad about our backgrounds. We'll see, you know, with the posts, it's cool. There's like these people that are kind of going in from one post to the next. So, let's start bringing in some main images here. Our first image, also shot in Tokyo. Favorite place to take photos. Let's put that in the main image folder. Let's select our square down here. Let's center that. And that's way too small, so Command-T, and let's make this big, yeah, 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 cool. That's a little bit too big, actually. I think that's about a cool size. Select our square again, center it, and boom, look at that. That's kind of an interesting situation, but it just feels a little too placed, you know, it's... And sometimes this works. Sometimes, in a lot of situations, this will work totally fine. But for this, it seems a little bit too place. So we're going to mess with some more gradients. 
gradient masks. And, yeah. All right. One of the most important things with this when you're creating your first document is to put down some rulers because as you can see all of these main images line up the size of them the width of them is the same and that just helps create a cohesive feel throughout the whole thing and yeah basically putting those rulers down you can now line up all your images your main foreground images perfectly. So this image is standing out weird. It's kind of cool, but it just stands out weird. So something we want to do in the background is we want to bring down the saturation. I thought this was a little thing that kind of helped those main foreground images stand out more, and I did it to all my documents. So in the background folder, create an adjustment layer, and bring down the saturation to minus 50. One other thing we're going to do, we're going to create another new layer. We're going to make this whole layer black. And we're going to bring down the opacity to 20%. And look at that. That image is standing out way more. Feels even weirder. And let's flow with that. And the background just kind of stays subtle and dark and different. So, looking at the main image, let's work on this a little bit. Let's mess with it in Lighten. Cool. I like the stairs there. That's cool. I just want to see our characters more. So, let's duplicate that. And let's put this one back on normal. Now, let's add a mask to this and mask some stuff out. So, I'm going to go back to my gradient tool. I'm going to create a gradient up like that. That's kind of cool. See? That goes away almost completely because of the light and layer, but we still get that pretty heavy. Let's also create a mask coming down there because I really like that. And, yeah, maybe around there. Maybe around there. Interesting. Kind of helps. It's the small things. Anyway, moving on. Quick tutorial. Let's do this. Select that. Edit. Copy merged. File. New document. Boom. Boom. File save as. And there is one Instagram vertical post. Let's go and create another just above this. What we're going to put here is me dangling my feet in Chicago over a balcony. Photo I shot in 2016, I think, or something like that. Let's size it up with our rulers as we learned. Oh, yeah, and another thing most of the photos I bring in are four or five. So, you know, portrait. Let's select our second square there, align this up, centered. Cool. That on its own already feels good. Photo selection is obviously I guess one of the harder parts of this selecting the right option to use. It's kind of a guess or check situation but I really like how this feels. So that's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and mess with some blending modes. Let's try lighten automatically. Ooh, seeing that road there, that's sick but it's a little bit too heavy. I love it everywhere though so let's go ahead and duplicate this Put this one back on normal, add a layer mask, drag it up, look at that. Gradient layer masks, these are my favorite. I do them on everything. Let's bring back some of my legs, so we'll just press X to get back to white. And bring back my legs slowly but surely now that is on 30%. There we go, look at that kind of cool. All right, then, you know, highlight that. Copy merged. Boom. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was my first tutorial, so sorry if it was a little hard to understand at times or if the explanations were off. If this tutorial helps you guys make any cool images, definitely feel free to tag me in them. I love to check out everyone's work and 